Hey guys, so today I'm doing a favorites video. I haven't made a video in a while, but I really want to get back into it because I think it's really fun. So yeah, I'm just going to get started with my January favorite beauty products. So I'll start out, um, you guys probably know that I'm one of those type of people that once I find a good foundation that I like, I stick to it and I've been sticking to my makeup forever, the Matte Velvet Plus. For so long, I haven't changed. And then I tried out the Naked Skin. I really like that. Finished that one up. And then I went to Sephora and I was like, I need a new foundation that is going to be full coverage. That um, is just a little bit lighter because I, I wanted one with a little bit more yellow tones in it. So the girl there, she was really actually really helpful. Usually they're not helpful at all. But she recommended the NARS Sheer Glow. And I really, really like this. I specifically love because love it because of the color. Um, I got the color Tahoe, and that's the medium dark. And I like it because it has more of the yellow undertones in it, and it really brightens up my face. I wanted something that was not going to make me look reddish because a lot of the foundations I was using were making me a little bit more red tone. So this is just perfect. The, I'm wearing it right now. Um, the consistency is really nice. It's really thick. It's full coverage. I don't need a lot of it. Um, so that's just really, really great. And then I kind of started um, <laughs> thinking that I needed a primer. And I tried primers before. I tried them so many times, but they always, always, always broke me out. So I was just like, whatever, screw primers. I hate them. I'm never going to use them again. So um, then I heard Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi talking about the Smashbox Photo Finish Light Primer. And that's the one I got too because it's well it says it's specifically like formulated for people with acne prone skin because it's the lighter version and this one says it's oil free and it says it increases the longevity of foundation blah blah blah, blah. everyone knows what foundation primer does but yeah this stuff is really good it's not as um silicone -y feeling as the regular smashbox one smashbox ones um but it still kind of like makes your makeup go on a little bit smoother and i've noticed too that um, when I'm taking off my makeup at night, I have to, like, I only use one makeup wipe to get it all off, and there's not that much, like, not as much as I had been using. Um, so I think it's just that my skin's not absorbing as much of the makeup as it normally would. So yeah, I really like that. And then, um, for mascara, I really just gravitated back towards the falsies, falsies flared. Everyone loved this for a while, and then kind of, like, did away with it, but I still really like it. Um, yeah, it works really well. The little spoon shape brush, I won't even get into that. Um, and then for powder, I've been using, again, I've been using the Makeup Forever, um, the white one, the HD Finishing Powder. But right now I'm using the MAC Block Powder, and I'm in the color Dark, and there's only like three colors of this, and the dark's not even like that dark, so, um, yeah, but it works really well for me, and I noticed that, um, it's been keeping me a little bit less oily in my T-zone, which I have a major problem with. And then um, for lips, um, since it's been like winter time and a little bit colder, um, I've been using chapstick a lot. So I'm using the Burt's Bees. This one's the grapefruit one, but any one. I've been like switching over all of them because I lose them so easily. Um, but yeah, these ones I just really like the best because they have the best like scents and stuff. And they just work the best for me. And then the lip gloss that I'm wearing right now, it's been one of my favorites this month because it's, um, it's this like... I don't know what the color is but it's like a pink it's like a magenta kind of color um <clears throat> but it looks really nice because it's not too dark for me and it's wearable for like every day which is a really big plus and this is the first time i've tried any of the smashbox lip glosses but they're they this one's the um limitless long wear lip gloss um and it lasts a long time um, like i said so it's, it's kind of thick but it's not too thick to where it's like goopy on your lips so that's perfect and yeah and okay so um next favorite is the soap and glory hand food um non-greasy hand cream with shea butter and macadamia oil i've been really liking this just because of the scent and it, it just smells like really clean and everyone says it's non-greasy that's true but i figured out that i kind of don't like non-greasy stuff lotion but this is just perfect for like carrying around with me and my purse and stuff and like after I wash my hands, I my hands get really dry, so I just I like having a little lotion with me. And then um, one of my favorite hair products that I recently got, it's the Aveeno Active Naturals Nourish and Condition Leave-In Treatment. Um, so I got this at Walmart because I was looking for something that I could use um, 
like just just right before I straighten my hair kind of just to give it a little bit more moisture because overnight it kind of gets dried out at the ends um so this one it just it has a really nice smell it comes out in like a little spray bottle and I like those better because then it's kind of like more of a fine mist rather than like putting on a cream which takes a little bit of time to dry before I straighten um so yeah that's been working pretty well for me um so I really like that and then my perfume favorite this one I wanted a perfume that I could wear a little bit more of like a kind of like a deeper scent but also one that was kind of fresh um so I got the Chanel Chance um it's the green one and I got it for Christmas from my boyfriend and I've actually really been liking it it's kind of it kind of smells like a man's perfume in a way like it's not it's it's not super florally it's I don't even know how to describe it but it's kind of it, it kind of has like a I think it has some kind of citrus scent in it which kind of makes it a little bit like stings a little bit I don't know I don't know how to describe scents but it's the um, pink one oh no the green one the green one um, but it, there's two other ones I was deciding between but the pink one was a little bit too rose scented so I didn't really like that but yeah I've really been liking this is just like a really nice perfume to throw on for daytime um, and then another favorite has been a favorite kind of of the season and that's scarves I've been getting so into scarves lately like every time I go to the store I buy a new scarf because they're just so cool. like they just make an outfit and it's just so easy to wear um, I used to think I was not the kind of person that could wear scarves but then I just I tried wearing them and then I got used to myself but this one is just um, like a floral one with blue floral on it and I got it from Nordstrom in the BP section so it looks just like that and yeah any kind of scarves if you guys want me to do a scarf collection which I'll probably do anyway um yeah just leave it in a comment down below but I'm gonna do it probably <laughs> right after this and then um I did take a trip to New York in January just to visit one of my friends and that was really fun um it's kind of fun exploring the city and just like going around and like exploring new things um so I while I was there I went to the La Durée and then like um it's uh, macaroons so they have like all different macaroons from Paris and they come in these little cute boxes you get to choose which box you want and um, then they put the macaroons in it and so I got this one and it's just so pretty like can, like it's just so pretty it has like the little purple swirls on the light green but it's just, just so springy and I really really like it um, so yeah that trip to New York was also a favorite this month and another favorite um, relating to that trip I got it specifically for the trip and it's the the Longchamp Le Pliage bag or um and mine's in the color natural I think but this is so useful for like an airport carry-on it fits so much stuff like everyone says that but it really really does fit so much stuff and I just really like the color like especially with um like since I wear darker colors on top I like to kind of contrast it with this really light colored bag and the nylon is so um, sturdy and really nice and it's just it's just a really classy bag I think especially in this color so I really um, had been enjoying that and then my last favorite um, is my iPad and I got my iPad for Christmas um, and I've just been using it so much because I really really like it and um, yeah so basically it's the iPad 2 I think yeah the iPad 2 and I have the like smart cover on it so yeah um that was all my favorites for this month um i hope you guys liked the video if you guys have any requests for videos please just leave them down below i'll probably be filming a lot in a little while so yeah hope you guys like it and i'll talk to you guys soon bye